So I've just arrived in Italy, Tuscany to be exact. Tuscany is my favorite place to visit in Italy, possibly my favorite place to spend time in the world. For many reasons, a few of them are the food, the weather, and the incredible views, and they just have the best golden hour light here in Tuscany that I've ever seen. But anyway, I haven't uploaded for a couple of weeks. Uh, that was mainly because, well, to be honest, I've just been completely exhausted. This year has been really tough. I didn't really talk much about that because I wanted to try and stay positive on my channel. But yeah, it's been a really, really tough year. Lots of cancellations with jobs and everything's just been quite a struggle to be honest. But I know it's been a struggle for everyone in many ways and in also worse ways than what I've had. So I try not to complain too much. I think I kind of lost my creativity. I went through this like creativity block a bit and that was maybe through just being overtired and overworked and having too many things on my mind it just completely ruined my creativity I think every youtuber goes through that at one point I've seen many youtubers experience the same thing and they just take a break for months and my only focus at the time became on my next YouTube upload not on the video itself and when you're sitting too close to something it's hard to see the big picture so I had to take a bit of a step back. And my plan was to try and combine some things in this week of taking some time for myself, getting some energy back and creativity, and of course trying to film a video because I always can't resist but to film a video even if I'm on holiday. I still want to film something. And my favorite video is to film of all times if you've watched my Best of the Alps video. This is the type of video that I would like to make more regularly, kind of travel, exploring, adventure videos with cars and that's exactly what I'm going to do over the next couple of days. So Mercedes-Benz Switzerland have given me this brand new AMG GTC Roadster and yeah it's quite a perfect car to drive down south in the sun with two-seater cabriolet sports car and yeah it's really a dream to drive in these conditions. So my plan is today to enjoy the car a bit, go exploring some twisty roads in Tuscany which are everywhere and second of all we're going to drive to my all-time favorite olive oil farm and buy some olive oil. Now as I said many reasons that I come to Italy is also because of the food. I just love food. I love olive oil and if you've never been to Italy well actually to be honest I feel a bit sorry for you because it is just a magical place and if you've bought some olive oil in your local supermarket that says it's from Italy and you think you've tried real Italian olive oil well, I can assure you, you haven't because Italians do not share their Class A products with anyone. So whatever you're buying in your supermarket and you think it's from Italy and you think you're tasting Italy, you're not. Not until you actually come down here and go to an olive oil farm and try their real local products which they do not sell outside of Italy. Italy has definitely been through a very hard couple of months as we all know as many countries have been. Today I want to share how much I love Italy because it's just an incredible country. However it is already 30 degrees and I am seriously hot. I've also got a pool to use for the week and then I promise we will go for a drive. There will be some car related things in this video probably. Tuscany offers pretty much endless twisty 
back roads. They are, or they can be, however, quite bumpy and a bit sketchy at places. But overall, not bad, especially in a car like this. This is a GT car, so I've got everything set in hard, apart from the suspension, which I've got in comfort, and it seems to be doing a relatively good job so far. A bit about the car, it's got 550 horsepower, 680 newton meters of torque, does zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.7 seconds, all powered by a four liter V8 by turbo. Basically, a lot of fun. It's also got a front end, the same size as a small ship. It does take some time getting used to the front. It really is massive. However, the car does have four-wheel steering, which makes it quite incredible around the corners. Almost too good. It gets around corners so good, I have to put such little effort in to drive this car. As most modern sports cars, supercars are, they're almost getting too easy to drive. There was a couple of things I don't like, that is the seats. The seats for me in, I think, pretty much all new Mercedes are possibly the most uncomfortable seats that I've ever sat in. The center bit back here, it just sticks in your back. It feels like someone has their fist constantly in my back. So I don't know whoever designed the seats at Mercedes, but they should be fired because these seats are, yeah, they're horrendous. Especially in a GT car, you know, you, you're probably gonna wanna do long distance in this. You need comfortable seats. And there is plenty of car brands that make bucket seats, like my Porsche GT4, carbon fiber bucket seats, but they're comfortable so you can make them. Otherwise, yeah, you can look at it as a positive or a negative. The car is a complete tech fest. It has so much technology, which oh, some people love and other people, that's the fun part, other people won't love so much. For me, I love technology. However, there's just a bit too much going on for me here. I think the color is called magnetic black. It's this kind of cross between black, gray, sometimes a little bit dark blue. But the overall design of the car is timeless. The front end of this looks brilliant. Also the 2020 version has an updated rear bumper and exhaust tips, I believe. It does look super good, especially with the roof down. Power is just so much power. More than enough for the average person. While we are on some quiet back roads, I say we also try a cheeky launch control. Because I've not tried it yet, and you should try it in every single car. So it's in Sport Plus. I guess this is going to work. Not tried it before. Put on the brake, flip down, race start. Yeah, quite aggressive. aggressive more than I was prepared for uh, launch control or race starts as they call it in Mercedes a lot of fun <laughs> we'll definitely definitely be doing that again later on today Just arrived at my all-time favorite olive oil farm in Tuscany. It is just an incredible place. It's owned and run by a family. What they also offer is you can come here and experience some real authentic Italian home cooking that the grandma makes, of course. It really is like that in Italy. But anyway, I'm hungry and I'm in the right place to be hungry. We can go up there now, eat some food and yeah, just enjoy the day, enjoy Italy. Buongiorno, ciao. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Scratchy, scratchy. Ali, this is never a show. Si. Milione for. Si me campi qua.
We're going to quite literally eat a feast. Everything's homemade, of course. Including the bread. And now we're going to drink some Vincanto, which apparently is holy wine in Italy. So, you know, I don't know what's going on with my pinky there, but holy people know how to have fun. After drinking way too much holy water and stocking up on olive oil that I bought from this very Italian looking man, I decided the best thing to do was to take a siesta. So I grabbed a blanket and headed for some shade underneath this olive tree where I slept until the evening. A perfect day in Italy, you could say. For now, I will end today's episode here before this video becomes too long with part two coming later on this month. For me, it's ciao for now and let's end today with a well needed car wash after all of that driving and some good old B-roll car porn. Yeah, and if you win a hope, get up on my tripod.